What's up guys? Bad Bass and Adventures here and today we're doing a little bit of cooking. So I have all these used plastics and I never know what to do with them. They're all torn and ripped and you never know what you're going to do with them, right? Well I found this little way that you can make you know a mold yourself completely yourself and it's fairly cheap really easy to do and um, I'm gonna just walk y'all through it this is my very first time trying it too so if it works that's great if it doesn't work we know how to do it a different way the next time so first off guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button and uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some uh, Cinco's first that's, that's the first thing we're gonna start off with is Cinco's all right guys here we go so I'm gonna start off by first making the mold so I'll leave a list down below guys of everything exactly what you're gonna need but this is 100% waterproof all-purpose silicone type 1 I'll get some close-ups of it guys and uh, show you all exactly what you need so you're gonna need some of this caulking gun definitely be easier to get the caulk out you can you know push it or put something in there and push it but these are really cheap I already had one laying around um, so I've seen it done a couple different ways so people using like Legos and stuff and different stuff to make their molds but these Tupperware containers that I have if this works right they're using these bigger ones and making some giant Mondo worms so um, we're not talking about 10 or 12 inch either guys we're talking like 15 16 inch worms so um, what size are these? These are nine by three by two inches, which are pretty much perfect, gonna be perfect, you know, for what we're doing here. So, first thing first, get this lid off the silicone here. Oh, definitely gotta have a sharp knife. I wonder if you have to poke these. Right. Guys, I'm back. Decided just to go ahead and cut this top off all the way because I'm going to use probably a lot of this anyway. I got two things of it. Um, it does kind of save if you put like a nail on the top of it, but it really doesn't. It should, it should be safe. So, I'm going to start out. I'm going to use this one. It's the same size as the other one. Like I said, I got these at Walmart. I'll leave them down in the description below. But I'm just going to start filling this thing up with a sufficient amount of silicone like as a base. And I'm going to spread it out, get it kind of flat. Or I just might, you know what, I'm just going to fill it up to where I want to go and start moving it out here Let's see what we got so I might be making this more like too big I don't, I don't know I kind of cut some piece of plastic I can put down right there and maybe stop it because these are a little bit a little bit bigger than what I wanted for just like a, a six inch stick bait but uh, yeah I'm just going to use this this one too. Okay. So one mold. This tube is like four dollars. Guys, so I mean, not much. Alright, so after you're done fiddling around with it, smoothing it out. I'm gonna let this thing set up a little bit and dry. Put the sink in it first though. Like I said, leave yourself enough on both ends. that sink go down in the middle of your mold. Not in the bottom. That'll be all the way through. I think that's too deep. That might have been too deep. That's probably too deep. I think it's going to be today. Hmm. Think. Alright guys, going in. 
this is gonna be fucked. I've already fucked up and I'm fucking this video completely up. <laughs> so, while this other one's hardening, I'm actually gonna do another mold of another Senko just so I can have two molds. And I left that in a step that I didn't think would actually do anything, but it actually does. So adding food coloring to the silicone helps it dry a little bit faster, apparently. So, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna try to make it not as thick and everything else. We'll try to do this a little bit better. Second time a little better. Before I forget, oh okay. yeah. Take it, and since it makes it harder. Definitely hardens a lot faster than put food coloring in there. One hundred percent. Now it's like way harder to push into the mold. Like, I don't know if it's going in there. Everything. There we go. Cover it up. This one might take a good while to set up. I bet I could add a little food coming to this one and do it up again. Probably better. Alright guys, this one's been setting up for a little bit. Definitely, definitely got to use the food coloring. It helps it set up way faster. This other one's still squishy and I don't know what the verdict is. This is the first one. It's really thick too. But like I said, I knew it would take me two tries, but just to help this thing out a little bit, I'm going to run this blade I got down it. Oh uh, yeah, it's all going to come out. Ooh. It's not sticky or anything up in there. come to the bottom it's not to the top so you might have a winner here <laughs> okay just this one corner was a little tacky i guess this is the picture but next step i'm gonna say it's ready i'm just might be rushing in but i'm gonna find the senko wherever it is and cut along the stick bait. Yep, that's it. Get caught really quick, Aaron. <laughs> what? Pretty excited. This might work. 
sometimes experiments don't don't really work out well. Senko came out completely clean, so that means we got a good mold. Whoo! Still excited now. So now what we're gonna do is melt some baits down. Got sticky, sticky hands. I'm pumped that it actually worked like that, guys. This mold might be really ugly, but the inside actually looked really good. Um, got some baits here. They're all the same colors or whatever, but they're kind of all similar. Um, the ones that are bagged together. So let's do something just kind of natural. Something to melt it in. Don't want to use your microwave um, at home, you know, inside microwave because I might have this guy in there. It's got some a little bit of different color in it. Well, I just need enough for a Senko. So I'm just going to try this, but a little bit more is probably better than none, not enough. And I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. So this is just like a free ball in it. Other things I've seen, like people adding salt and stuff, I don't know. I'm just going to add some and see what happens. Should make it fall a little bit faster, and that's what that's what I want. I don't like the fish slow as it is, but they eat it definitely, and it works. So, Let's see what happens. Got this microwave. Just it in there. I'm gonna send it for a couple seconds here. Do 30 seconds. Let's see what that does. Probably need some kind of other stirring device. I'm just using this. If anything gets out of hand. I'm not sure this thing's gonna get hot, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you know what? I probably should have cut them up. It would have been a little bit better idea to cut them up so into smaller pieces. And that definitely would have been better, for sure cut it up into smaller pieces, it's more manageable, it's melt faster and more evenly. But when you use food coloring in there, the thing hot yet? Okay, so shit's starting to get hot, so don't just go in there and grabbing it. You'll end up all left up. Oh that's that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Right, just a little bit more. Just, just a little bit. I actually want to melt it down. I might want to add a little bit, but now I don't. I think it's a good idea, but hey, what the hell? Why not? This color. up one more Senko and throw it in there. Stick it back in. I need some bait. I need some bait. Alright. Those other ones were almost melted all the way. Looks like they're melted now. Oh yeah, we're in the we're in the business right now. This is this is money. This is the I think the texture consistency, the texture I want. Right here, guys. <coughs> don't don't breathe this in. She'll mess you up. Ooh, I didn't think this through. Let me switch hands. <laughs> Hold it 
spin with one hand and try not to pour it on my hand. That one set up and we'll see what happens. I can I can already tell that one did not. I didn't get it full or flat enough. So I'm gonna prep some more of these baits. And we're gonna do another one. I got this. Alright guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and rush into it and take it out just because I already know that I didn't get it in there even enough. Crack it open. I'm actually fairly impressed um, for not getting it in there evenly and all the way through. We have ourselves like a half ass decent Senko. Definitely want to wait a little bit longer than what I'm waiting because it's definitely not cooled down any. But it'll come out. And it's in the right shape. <laughs> we just got a little void there and we just got to trim up some, but. That's actually not that bad. That's, that's that's not that bad, guys. See, the lines are nice and straight, so if I get a good pour in there, we're gonna have a solid, solid Senko. It's really hot. It feels really dense. It just feels dense, that's what's up. So we're gonna let this one, I don't know, it's not bad. Trim this one up real quick. Those fish don't care about a little bit of some rough edges on the bottom of that thing. But see, there's you can tell kind of my overpour slot there. But if you let it cool down, I really think you can get it trimmed up a lot better. And if I got a better pour, and there's this little spot where you can see where I messed up a little bit. But there's the good sides. I mean, look at that. Pretty dope. Sick. So I'm actually gonna keep this one being that was my first one and I'm gonna go ahead and melt down and make one more and try to get a good one for you guys and uh, I'm gonna end it at that. Alright guys, this next color I'm mixing up actually I'm really feeling it's gonna be cool to think I like. I'm pretty uh, excited. I'm gonna pour it into the mold. Alright guys, real quick when I open up this other one, I popped in the freezer to see if that would help it any, I don't know. I'm gonna get some more silicone, gonna get some more molds. Actually making another mold right now for a smaller little bait. Because I only had a little bit of silicone left, but this other one, like I said, was probably it might set up eventually, but probably a little bit of a fail. So I'm gonna crack this one open. Oh yeah. It's colors too. It's Super cool. I'm gonna try to actually cut this thing with the razor blade right now before I take it out and see if that um, looks a little bit better. A little bit of some trim work to do, but that is a cool color right there, guys. Look at that. Like I said, you can see the little bit of stuff that I need to trim off there, but uh, that is pretty sick, pretty sick color. All right, guys, if y'all like this video, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll do some more if you comment down below what you'll want to see next, what kind of baits you want to see, and uh, 
See you on my next adventure. Bad Bassin' out. <laughs>